I'm going to update you on what is left before we can finally start the car with boost for the first time. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt. We're still working on getting our 1.8 liter that is fully built into boost. And I'm going to go over some of the things that's left to finish. It's all the little small things that we need to wrap up before we can start making boost. So let's dive into it. Here is the car's current state. Some of the things that have or has been done since my last video, we got the intercooler all taken care of. I'll leave a link at one of these corners showing how I did that. But one of the things I did is I, I shortened this down, kept enough length so that way, if I wanna take it to a track day or something like that, I can just turn this thing around, take the light out. Who knows, maybe we might make a custom kind of induction for where the light is at. But that'll give me enough room to be able to flip this thing around and if I decide I want to keep the mass airflow sensor as part of the the system we can do that one of the other things I did is I finally finished up the all the the plumbing for the <laughs> the coolant we did take care of that I welded this on here as a little bit of a brace because as I was working on the car, I was knocking this kind of back and forth. It came loose a little bit, but I got it snugged up. That's all taken care of. Minor little cosmetic things like putting this little MC2 plate on. Another big hurdle that I managed to get taken care of is this solenoid here that actuates the variable cam timing. Kind of like what we got going on over here for the intake side. Essentially what I did is I, I cut this connector off. I used the hacksaw, just cut it here, which left us with just this outer housing and the two little prongs that kind of stick out. I'm not gonna be able to reach behind there, but it's just two little prongs that stick out that this connector connects to as you can see here and luckily I still had two pins from when I did the the coils that's a whole nother little project on its own but just get things going uh, I'm just gonna leave the stock one in for now but I cut this thing down soldered on a couple wire leads and then just kind of extended it. Took this little housing and I basically just did some plastic welding with some zip ties. Made the bottom of that housing again. Made it nice and strong, extended it. Now it's out the way. The intake is on for good. Some of the other things I do still have to take care of, obviously, is the fuel. I've got a 90 hooked up for now. I have it capped off. The idea is, I cut off the fuel line, which is over here. I cut it off and we're going to tap into the hard line down there. And we got some PTFE line that's going to run up to our damper and it will come to the fuel rail. Then it will come out. I was hoping I could mount my fuel pressure regulator right here, but there's just not enough space. So we'll have to send it under mount it somewhere here on the firewall and we got to run a line all the way back to the fuel tank so we can return that fuel that's not being used we've got our, our new injectors in there which i'm not sure if i showed that that will be in an upcoming video we got those all seated in there i got this this wiring taken care of so we have our map sensor plugged in we've got our throttle body all plugged up some of the other things i need to do is i need to connect my brake booster and we also have this kind of a evaporative emissions thing here which basically is just kind of a, a valve that pulls the gases from the gas tank into the intake to be burnt for emissions we got to get that taken care of i got to figure out a way to tee this in with the actual blow off valve so it gets a boost or vacuum and i'll probably need to install a check valve for the evap stuff because it just uh, there there's nothing to keep us from boosting the the evap canister back there uh, the brake line i did check it does have a a check valve built into it so that's fine 
I just really need to get this guy to here. And last but not least, we need to, or one of the last things, we need to plumb our wastegate in which I do have an AEM boost controller and I'll show you that in a future video as we install it, how to install it and all that stuff. I think initially I'll probably just plumb the, the wastegate straight from the turbo, just basically straight from the turbo here. There's a little fitting to the bottom of the wastegate. So that way we're just getting wastegate spring pressure, but I do still need to install that, that boost gauge. And so we can build as much boost as we desire. Lots of little things to do still. Also still have the NMB2, I think it's called. It's, it's basically a, a two-step programmer that I need to install, but we'll do that later down the road once we get the thing under boost. So there's just a, a lot of little things that we still need to do. There's also this little wire here, but because this thing just kind of fell out. It normally just plugs into the front bumper. It's also part of the intake air temperatures. It basically kind of gets a reading of what the, you know, what the temp is outside. And this thing had kind of dragged on the ground, tore out one of these wires here and I need to, need to sort that out as well. But we're getting really close. We're getting really close. I still need to take care of, there's an oil leak coming somewhere from the front of the engine, which I'm not looking forward to doing, but it's something I gotta do in order to kind of finally button this thing up. One thing that was a little concerning, uh, I'm not too worried about it. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. It might just have been metal shavings from when I was doing the, the head work. Uh, there, there were some uh, shavings that perhaps men, and I thought I washed the thing out good. Uh, there were some metal shavings. It, it definitely didn't look like anything that was a result of the engine breaking in. It was probably just maybe something I missed and it just kind of collected. Over here where this, this uh, solenoid is at, I cleaned it out. I checked the other side, it didn't have anything in there. So I think it was just from when I did drill out the, there's a, uh, a bolt hole so we upgraded our studs to a size larger but you have to enlarge in that because that's an oil flow passage way to just oil the whole top in and I think perhaps I might have missed a little bit and it sent it over here uh, not a big deal again we'll just keep an eye on it I'm not too concerned about it but I thought I would bring that up. So we're almost there we are almost there lots of little things to do work has been busy, been crazy busy. However, uh, it's coming along quite nicely. And I wanna wish you guys a happy new year. Lots more to look forward to. And let me know what you think down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. I'm still kind of doing videos as a, I don't like to just put out little sections here and there. Although I do like to keep you guys updated, uh, but I kind of like to do it as separate system so that that way other people and, and you guys as well can learn from it but it'll also uh, make it towards where people can kind of find specific topics and uh, you know perhaps bring in some new viewers to the channel that uh, will be part part of the crew y'all tuning in and happy new year y'all be safe out there and peace out with your pizza